Listen, we're going to do one more song for you, but before we do, I want to set this up a little, and I also want to tell you that uh, we've got uh, <clears throat> tapes and CDs for sale, uh, and uh, after the show, we'll be back in the lobby back there just hawking those suckers away, so if anybody would like to... <laughs> I want to let you, uh, I want to set this next song up for you just a little bit. Um, uh, I'm a music student back in St. Louis, where we're all from, and uh, I go to one of these schools, it's kind of one of these, you know, snobby kind of schools. They kind of look down their noses, you know, at barber shop music, I'm sure you can imagine. They're, they're all into Beethoven and Batch and <laughs> Chopin and that crowd. And, Anyway, I've run into so much trouble with that that uh, I came up with a really good idea. I, I thought maybe if our quartet could learn a classical number, you know, that maybe we could uh, sing it for my professors, you know, and they'd be a little bit more impressed with what we do, and they wouldn't keep failing me on my exams all the time. And uh, they all, all the guys thought that'd be a good idea. So we got uh, a bunch of uh, classical albums out and started listening to a lot of classical music and found one that we really, really liked. It's a little uh, uh, Mozart. Did he? By the name of uh, Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. <laughs> Very juicy piece of music, as you can see. Anyway, we thought that'd be a good number, uh, you know, sort of bouncy, kind of a good melody, easy to dance to, you know? And uh, then we discovered one little problem, no words. Uh, to that baby, and uh, when you sing, you know, acapella, when you sing acapella, when you sing without instruments like we do, you find the words come in awfully handy, uh, and, uh, but we were undaunted by this fact. We were not daunted. <laughs> nay, nay, daunted not were we. We asked a good friend of ours by the name of Neil Fredrickson if, you know, maybe he could write some words to this tune. And sure enough, he came back a couple weeks later having written the words and the lyrics uh, to the song that you're about to hear us. <laughs> anyway, he did a really clever thing, by the way, in writing the words to this Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. <laughs> I just love saying that word, boy. Why don't you all say that from where you are? No, no. Uh, he tells a story of a completely different Mozart work, a, a little Mozart opera by the name of uh, The Magic Flute. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, we would like to sing now as our final number for this evening, the uh, Eine Kleine, you know the rest, telling the story of the magic flute. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the opera, The Magic Flute, let me tell you all about it right now. <clears throat> it's all about this magic flute. Thank you very much. If in tunes it's something hot you seek, try some fine neckline and rock music. Mozart, when he was just a child, was really kind of wild. He was a prodigy, and he was always thinking of a tune or rhyme that an opera or symphony. Wolfgang, was he rare to compare? Had to do um. So he wrote so many notes that some composers who were average thought him dumb. But he didn't mind, because they weren't too kind. They just could not see that he was more than they could be. Like in his opus 53 or in the Hopper Symphony. Oh, golly gee. Here is sort of how one opera goes. You do 
not like Bach. If you hate it, it's the story, the story of the man who speaks it blue. Then you can see it, you like it. Then see how you would rate it first. There's a prince who's being chased by a great big snake who's scared off by ladies who are singing. One of the fairest is the alto and the other. Just second hand goes, then this guy with a birdcage enters and he's really looking strange. He's all dressed up with feathers. He sings about his love life. The prince gives him a listen, but really couldn't care less. And then they all walk together in a circle. And then they meet with a bunch of good guys who give them a magic flute. Which wards off evil and get the neck. And will protect you if you play it right. If you're playing it in tune. Now we're ready for the real good part. There's a queen who's evil through and through. And a princess too good to be true. The plot begins to thicken. The queen is planning something. The prince, he loves the princess. The queen sings lots of high notes. Go. Come on. Do the tenor. Time's wasted. Oh, man. They're all staring at me. I can't do this. Oh. Oh. The bird man is a chicken. The queen rounds up her henchmen. The prince is so courageous. Will evil. Triumph. The characters are added, and now it gets confusing. There's priests and slaves and others, and then this Moorish bad guy. And now nobody knows what's going on. Including us, we're going crazy, but then that's the way it goes. It shows that opera can be fun, but the ending's only just begun. Don't Prince induce a lot of trials that go for miles and miles, but don't you worry, cuz he's got the flute. Do -do 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 when he plays it good like he should on his first best orchestra, then the queen and all the baddies they get flustered because they know they'll never win if they try again. For the queen to sin is the fate of evil team. If only they could see how happy they would be, the bends and bends as they could leave. Shit. Now we're ready for the end at last. last. Do 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 And lightning and stuff. The evil queen goes wacko. The wax is always steadfast. The queen can't seem to beat him. Where be to beat his play? And he is on the side of just good and true. I just guess the queen and all of the bad guys vanquished and our heroes find success. Now that the danger's over, the prince and princess marry. The bride man finds a girlfriend and everybody's happy. But then we find that the whole thing's allegory Mozart having, having fun Just like he wrote him when he was a lad Because of all the talent that he had He got it from his dad Try some Mozart if you're down Far and wide he is redoubt So put some on your stereo Today There are so many things that you can choose to play They're all arranging numbers And they start with K Get a record or CD Hey, so get a record or CD Right away